At the biggest hospital in Gaza, the emergency is overwhelming the ER. There aren't enough ambulances to carry the casualties who arrive in cars and taxis, too. The beds are all busy at Shifa Hospital. The courtyard's a crowded waiting room. The morgue is full. General Manager Hassan Halaf insists the majority of patients by far are civilians. We reached him by cell phone. The latest you know, figure is the total killed people is 500. Uh, 43 at the moment, and uh, well, uh, th about 30 percent of them are women and children. The uh, number of uh, injured people is uh, 2,600. Does she have any pain? 11 year old Lama Alaiwa was brought in this afternoon. Her home was hit by an Israeli bomb. Her mother and four siblings were killed. Her doctor's Norwegian. Mads Gilbert came to Gaza last week to help out, he says, in a hospital that's short of everything but misery. They have no spare parts, they have no monitors, they have not enough blood pressure machines, they don't have enough trolleys, they lack everything. And on top of this, you have this huge disaster. The word Shifa means healing, but Gilbert says Shifa Hospital is struggling to live up to its name. We have to be even harder to select who we can treat, and we have to put aside people who could otherwise die. That is the, the, the gruesome fact of this situation, and we are, not, we are not talking about the 17th century, we are talking about 2009. One other note, a senior Israeli intelligence official says Shifa Hospital isn't just a refuge for the wounded. He says it's also being used as a hideout for some leaders of Hamas. Hospital officials, Katie, vehemently deny that. Richard Roth reporting from the Middle East tonight. Richard, thank you.